All right. Welcome now, back to the Supplement Kitchen, yes. where we do supplement reviews. And snacks. And, and snack donuts, reviews. Yeah. Blogs, vlogs, whatever. Anyways, did you say snacks? Yeah. Today, we have... Okay. And we've got... This is the Blast House Moscow Mule flavored pre energy and performance formula. Oh, look at that mule. Ba Bow! Welcome back, Southern Kitchen Reviews. Today, we've got the Blast House uh, Industries, I think is their name. Uh, we have their yes. pre-workout. Um, it is a massive, yeah, huge tub. Huge, huge scoop. Their Which I like this, because sometimes I have a hard time getting my hand. I know, we've talked about this. Yeah, times. so this is nice. So and they nice... put one of these cool little cards in here. If you own a company, these are so much more helpful. <laughs> what? Let me go back. <laughs> In so much more helpful. Up. Yeah. These are so much more helpful Anyways. if you own a company. Oh, thank you for your um, input. What is this? This is like a white flaky, though, kind of. Oh, well, he said flaky. Right? I mean, corn flakes are good. Right? Are you seeing that? looks like salt. Sure, yeah. But anyway, so yeah, it's, I mean, it's probably like salt. Yeah, good good comparison there. Uh, this is The whole blend is not. But new the, Moscow Mule. Bits of it. God bless. It's a big old scoopy. Um, yeah, it's, let's see here, 19.1 grams. Pretty big scoop and mixing. Uh, let's see here. Mix one scoop of Blast House Pre with 8 to 12 ounces of water and consume 15 to 25 minutes prior to training. Do not exceed one full serving in a 24-hour period, which probably stands true. Wow, easy. Yeah, pretty there big blend. Yeah, the label is super cool. Yeah. Uh, I like what they do as far as graphics go, you know. It's, it's very like it has a big ass um, mule on it. I mean, yeah, it's very yeah. like pop art, but you know what you're getting. Yeah, yeah, and then he's kicking a Moscow mule to a mule <laughs> kicking a mule, and then their EAA is like flavored peach, and it's got like this big ass hand squeezing a peach. Hell Dude, yeah, it's similar label. It's pretty cool. But anyway, so let's get into the flavor of Moscow mule. Mule. Moscow mule. I mean, it looks like. Uh, yeah, it's very um, <laughs> white. So it does All smell right. kind of like that mint, like you know, Moscow Mule you has get like that mint. Like a little bit of the the ginger beer. Yeah, that's yeah. The lime and something else. I don't know. Right? You're you're picking up something else there in the front. I don't know, it's it's a good mixture though. Like, let's try it. You sure? Flavor Moscow Mule Original. So we mixed it with like eight to nine ounces of water. Um, warm, not warm, but room Luke, temperature yeah. water. Um, and the flavor, you get like, I wouldn't say you really get like an alcohol taste, right? Yeah. You don't get like that vodka. Um, but you do get the ginger beer, the lime. Um, there is another flavor in there that could. Mint. I think it's mint. It could be. I mean, it kind of resembles the taste of alcohol, but you don't get like that burn or mouthfeel that you would with alcohol. Um, I think it's pretty on par. Yeah. It. Um, yeah. It. I would say if you put this in a glass and you had you know this and a moscow mule side by side is it gonna taste the same no but, but a rookie close. would a rookie know a rookie may not know <laughs> dude a rookie <laughs> may not know if they're new to the pre-world <laughs> and now if you get you a fresh 21 year old they may not be able to tell the difference no so but yeah i think it's a, a good original flavor very original i mean i could do um, it very original and for it to be this original of a flavor, right? We saw Axe and Sledge with the whiskey cola. That was really good. Um, I haven't really seen too many, like, vodka-flavored drinks, mm -hmm. right? You've seen, like, some pina colada with, you know, that's made with, what, rum? Yeah, but... But you can kind of exclude the rum on that. But, like, Moscow Mule is kind of like a it's traditional original. drink. It's pretty cool. And to see them kind of have that flavor profile... To where it includes that, it's very interesting. It's very good. 
cool deal. Yeah, like I said, I, I, I will nice. disclose, you know, we I tried it with more water on the higher end, like 12 to 14 ounces of water. And you do kind of get a weird taste if you mix it that high. So I would say if you, you know, do decide to pick up a tub, I'd say mix it closer to the eight. It's probably, yeah, the lower amount of water is bringing more out of that sweet side. Yeah, probably the sweeter. Part. But mm-hmm. yeah, it's really original. It's really good. And I think it's something I could drink m- yeah. more than once. I don't know about daily, but yeah. Pretty good. It is pretty good. What All right. Is what time is it? All Review right. time. Let's get into this label. All right. We've got some vitamin B3, B5, B6, uh, 125 milligrams of caffeine and hydrous, 50 milligrams of caffeine citrate, 50 milligrams dicaffeine malate, 488 milligrams of uh, calcium, 1 milligram of magnesium, 7 milligrams of potassium, 9.6 milligrams of sodium, uh, 6 grams of L-citrulline, 3 grams of L-arginine, 2 grams of uh, biotine and hydrous, 1600 milligrams of beta alanine, 1000 milligrams of L-taurine, uh, let's see here, 250 milligrams of coconut water powder, uh, 100 milligrams of urea darenesis, 50 milligrams of theobromine, 30 milligrams of synephrine HCL, 20 milligrams of hig- uh, yeah, hignamine, uh, 7.5 milligrams of coca extract, 5 milligrams of biopurine, 1 milligram of Rarufa vom- vomitoria, and 100 milligrams of n phenethylene dinethylamine. Yep. Wow. So it's a huge label. And that's why the scoop size corresponds with that. So yeah. it outlines energy with a light yep. bolt, focus okay. with a arrow or uh, crosshair, right. endurance with some feet flying. So okay. performance. Yeah, I would say it really hits all of those. Um, you know, this is a rounded formula to kind of hit every aspect. And I would say it's up there as far as well-rounded formulas. It, am I going to say it takes the cake? No. But is it one of the better ones I've seen in a long time? Absolutely. It's, yeah, it's definitely a stacked formula. I think it, you know, like you said, I, I think it's more along the lines of um, the energy focus aspect right. um it definitely nails that and brings that or highlights that to the forefront of this uh, as far as pumps go actually surprisingly i felt yeah them on this yeah um I, I don't know if it's because i was working like the energy aspect is so high right. that i was just working so much harder that i felt it more or what but you do feel it um energy's there focus is there endurance you know, is and, what it is. And there's, you know, what, three sources of caffeine, um, which I think really helps this stand out because you're not just taking 300 milligrams to the face, mm-hmm. right? You're getting slower. Um, 225 total. Yeah, 225 total. Um, and I would say, you know, as you're working out, you you don't ever run out of energy. Yeah, well, you're getting yeah, you're getting energy on the front. You're getting energy that slowly comes in later and yeah. then kind of comes in at the end. So you're getting a few, like I said, those few different sources. But not just the caffeine. I mean, you also have a few different areas like uh, rhodiolinesis, the abromine, some hygnamine, um, just a few other sources that are going to give you some type of energy boost or yeah. whatever um, it may be. But like I said, I think it's a yeah, and you know the focus formula. aspect. I think. Like you were talking about earlier with the pumps, the focus really helps drive that. Because mind muscle, are you can make a mind muscle connection here. Um, you know, I don't think this particularly stands out strong in one area. But if you're looking for something that you could take for energy, slight pump, focus, endurance, I, you know, I would say this is a good contender, something to have readily available. Yeah, it makes you turn into a mule and fucking kick the shit out of the weight. Hell yeah. <laughs> Uh, M45. So now we're going to get into ratings. Ratings, mixability. Uh, 10. ten. I actually didn't have any issue. Flavor. Surprising. Um, I would say probably like a eight and a half for me. Or, original is the big key here. Yeah. Um, nine. I liked it. It's very good. Performance. You know, they didn't really. It didn't. I have no problem giving this really a 10. Uh, yeah, I was about to say, yeah, 10. I think it, it, it doesn't for outline you. anything it too over-performed specific. for me. Yeah, it, it's very rare you find a all-in-one pre. Overall? Uh, I'll give it a 
Uh, 9.25, that's what we're going with. Nine and a half for me. Solid formula. Normally, I know we talk about when you get like a, a super – um, ingredient heavy profile. A lot you know, of times. Sometimes things get lost. And this one, I think it's well rounded and it hits. So. Yeah. All right. Well, there's our thoughts. There is that on the Blast House Industries Pre. Um, we do want to thank them for getting this over to us. Thank, we'll you. thank you. Up here. Be sure to head over, check them out. They have this, they have their EAA as well. They, I think they have a couple other products. Um, but like I said, cool little company. Um, check them out. There's our thoughts. We're done. I'm out. Later. <laughs>